Hi Sophie, Sherry here from A Misty Dimness AMD Soap. Today I am making May 2019 Soap of the Month Club Soap. And I am doing a soap that I have never made before. Kind of hard to believe that in five years of soap making I have never done a lemon poppy seed. And um, I'm going to correct that today. So the reason I chose this one for May Soap of the Month is because, you know, I look at a lemon poppy seed soap and it is so bright yellow. It smells so bright and refreshing. It's, I need something to pick myself out of the winter doldrums. And um, lemony scents are just a great scent for May. We're kind of transitioning from spring to summer. Uh, so, oh boy, this container is hot. I should probably use a cloth to hang on to it. Um, so here I'm adding my stearic acid because this is uh, going to be a honey soap. So I'm going to add some honey to this as well. Um, that I have here and I have done half honey and half water both I have deducted from my total liquid amount needed and then the other thing I'm going to do is I, and this is something else I've never done is use yogurt in soap so I picked out Unfortunately, I couldn't find an unflavored one, so I went with vanilla. I figured it would be the, the least interactive with soap. Um, but this is a, a sugar-free yogurt. Um, because I'm adding the already adding the honey, I didn't want to add more sugar to this batter and run the risk of overheating it or ruining it any other way. So I'm adding all of that into it so that's 150 grams of yogurt and that has also been subtracted from my uh, total water amount and then the last thing that I'm going to add before I stick blend this oh I correct myself the last two things that I'm going to add before I start stick blending this with my lye solution is I'm going to add my colorant because this is going to be on all yellow soap so there's not going to be any design to this at all so I'm just going to go ahead and add one teaspoon maybe a little bit more maybe one and a fourth teaspoon of yellow and I just realized that I have not added my clay or my salt to my lye water so I will have to fix that. I also have to stop and take a couple pictures because I'm going to try to blog this, the making of this soap as well. And we are back. So the other thing beside the colorant that I'm going to add to my oil pot before I start stick blending in my lye is for fragrances, I'm going to use, I have about an ounce and a fourth of this Blueberry Lemon Verbena from Crafter's Choice. I have used this one before and I know that it accelerates very badly. So I'm actually going to stick blend this in once we get to trace. I'm going to add it with our poppy seeds um, just to control the amount of acceleration that I get because I do think it's going to move super super fast and be kind of ugly so the other to make up the other part of my two ounces I'm using a lemon five-fold essential oil blend and just a touch of patchouli dark essential oil and those um, the patchouli is just going to be there to help anchor the lemon essential oil I probably don't need to because I'm also using a fragrance oil but I need to use up some of my essential oils, so I'm going to go ahead and use them. So here's our bucket with our, our oils, with our honey, our yogurt, our color, um, a little bit of patchouli essential oil and lemon essential oil. 
And I'm going to go ahead and start stirring up my lye solution. This is so in my picture here, I have just about a 50% lye solution. And that's because the yogurt, the honey, the extra water in the honey that I have added into my oil buckets made up almost all of the extra water that I needed to get to a 28% oh today I'm doing a 29% lye solution um, which if you know me is a 4% less water than what I'm used to working with but this is just a simple single one color thing and I some of them because this is a 50% lye solution um, I do my Clay just didn't dissolve, or not dissolve, disperse as well. Um, clay doesn't dis dissolve in water. So it just disperses, that's why it also settles out. Um, so I'm going to have to make sure I'm a little bit careful when I stick blend this. So that way um, I get those clay clumps all mixed up. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a couple quick bursts with the stick blender and I'll bring you back. <laughs> So we have this at um, right on the edge of a trace. It's nicely emulsified and the yellow is just delicious. It will get ye uh, lighter yellow um, as it uh, saponifies. Um, that's just how this particular one works. Uh, this particular colorant works from Micah's and more. Um, it is their magic yellow. And because this... Um, this fragrance oil, whew, that was on tight. This fragrance oil does uh, accelerate a bit, or at least it did the last time that I used it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put it in at this point and also add our poppy seeds. Which poppy seeds are the one I'm using today? Poppy seeds, poppy seeds. One tablespoon of poppy seeds. So in this recipe with the honey, it's it's going to go pretty fast. I also have stearic acid. I have 1% stearic acid in this to help make a harder bar of soap because that honey is going to be a really soft, um, soft bar of soap. The stearic acid will help it be a little bit harder. Um, both of those things, the honey, the yogurt, even though there's no sugar in the yogurt, um, and an accelerating FO and stearic acid, those are all going to contribute to this setting up quite fast, I expect. Um, if you've ever watched my wild peach and poppy, or yeah, wild peach and poppy soap, um, I had to make that one twice. I have one failure video that I posted, and I have one good video that I posted. Um, but if you watch the failure, you'll see exactly what happens when you have extra sugar and stearic acid and an accelerating FO. So I am proceeding with caution a little bit and just keeping an eye on this. So you can see this is really, really set up. This is quite thick compared to what it was just 30 seconds ago when I added the fragrance oil, maybe a minute ago. I'm not very good at time. My husband will tell you that I'm always late for stuff. I'm always late or way, way early. There's, I'm never perfectly on time for anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and start pouring this into the mold. So the mold that I am using today is my two pound wooden loaf mold that my husband made for me, lined with freezer paper. And we're just going to go ahead and get this in. This is really, really thick. It's it's thickening up beautifully, perfectly, doing all the perfect things that I want this soap to do today. So I'm going to scrape out my bowl and bang this on the floor a couple times. And we should be able to sculpt the top the way that I want to. And I'm sorry, I'm blocking your view here. Because this is so thick. Thick. Um, I have a couple different design techniques I'm going to use on the top of the soap 
that I have never done before. Just all kinds of new experiences today. So you can see at the top of this, there's a couple air bubbles that are popping up. That's all right. Um, we'll let them come up. I'm going to be shaping the top of this anyway, so you won't even be able to see those anymore. And what I am doing for the top of this is I am taking my fork and I am just dragging. I think I want to go a little bit further. Just dragging just to give it a little bit of an unexpected texture in the top of that. And then after I have forked it, I'm going to take my spoon and just push up to create kind of an opposing texture to the lines of the fork. Just something gentle and smooth like that. I'm just going to sprinkle a few of these poppy seeds kind of along this outer edge. And I expect some of these will fall off. So where it's heavy in places, they probably won't stay heavy. Um, because when I go to cut these, um, th some of those are just going to fall off. That's just the way it is. So I'm going to go ahead and spritz this with uh, some isopropyl rubbing alcohol. And then I'm going to pop this into the fridge because um, with that honey and the stearic acid and the yogurt, um, even though that yogurt had no sugar in it, those milks are still going to heat up. So I don't want this one to burn, so I'm going to pop it in the fridge. And I will bring you guys back for the cut. Thanks for watching this video. And when I do the blog post for this too, I will also post a link for that in the description box below. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay soapy.